Alright guys, this is a 97 Honda Prelude. Um, it's got a little bit of work done to it, nothing too crazy. You know, P28 on that tune. Still gotta get tuned by Kenny the man at Turbo Jixer. Uh, so look him up, TurboJixer.com. Great tuner, tuned a lot of Prelude people. Awesome. Guys, just give him a shout. You know, he's really good on prices, you know. Very reasonable. Um, 97 Honda Prelude, base model. Skunk 2 intake manifold, Skunk 2 throttle body, 70 millimeter sticks so you know what I definitely call skunk 2 before you do this because you know I have obviously had bad luck with them I mean customer service hasn't been that great with me um, but you know that's that's my personal opinion that's how I you know that's the stuff I've been going through everyone else's experience you know everyone seems to be doing good you know some people not so much so skunk 2 manifold Skunk tooth throttle body, Megan headers, you know, just two and a half inch pipe all the way back to a Grady can. Um, today we're going to be doing the right wire step down harness, you know, we're going to go from an OBD2 to an OBD1 distributor. So things you're going to need to buy, obviously, is an OBD1 distributor. You know, it could be from any, you know, pre-96. If it's a 96, it's not going to count because 96 is when they actually went to the OBD2 harnesses. So this is what your OBD1 distributor is going to look like. You know, try to buy the external coil. Alright, guys, please do so. It'll save you a lot of headaches. External coil. You know, this is what your pins are going to look like. Here's your basic, you know, your first two prong and then the, and then the eight prong or an eight pin. Alright? Very, very simple. You can't mess this up, guys. You really, you really can't. You know, it's really easy. You know, it just takes a little bit of, you know, learning and a bunch of other stuff man you know it's, it's cool it's a good nice little project for you to try well I already did the one sensor off the crank alright some some sensors are not gonna be that easy you know mine's really was because the person I did my water pump before me or actually you know I let somebody do my water pump and they actually left something unplugged so I'm not sure if I can get a good picture on her but You see that little harness down there? There she goes. You know, down there is where your crank sensor is going to be at. You know, it's right there on the corner of the block. It should be on, if you're staring at the side of your motor, it's going to be on the right side of the water pump. Should be. You know, mine was loose, so it was dangling, so I literally just broke off a hanger and, you know, fish hooked it. I fished it out. Funny. So easy. Um... Off the harness, engine harness itself, you're going to have to plug this harness into the right wire. Alright? The right wire plugs right in. It's just a female, con uh, it's just a male connector. You plug into the female of the harness. So now, off the harness, it's going to be powered again, you know? Because once you, once you disconnect it off the crank, guess what? It's not going to have a pulse or whatever the case is. Well, now that you're going to be plugging into the wire wire... You're going to let your distributor power the crank sensor, so to speak, and tell your computer that. That your P28 is saying, hey, look, crank sensor isn't good. Alright? I'm going to go through the next step with you guys. Alright. How I'm planning on doing this, I'm going to mark my distributor anyways. You know, get a, get a Sharpie. It doesn't cost much to have a Sharpie. Trust me. It really doesn't. I'm going to mark from top screw as straight as possible. Obviously, you know, my ball part is looking just to the right of the 10 millimeter bolt. You know? Here you go. She's almost lined up for me, as you can tell. Mark it up. Don't be afraid. You know, pull your pins. You know, pull these little connectors. You know, it should be, what? I don't know. I can't tell if it's like 10, 310 or 312. You know, I really don't remember from my brain dead right now. It's too early in the morning. Just pull these three bolts. You know, there's one underneath. Pull these two. And please, you know, if I were you, and you wanted to make life so diff uh, so easy on you, you know, just pull the cap if you want. Don't, don't fuck up the firing order. You know, it's... You always go on Google and get the schematics, whatever the case is, but you just want to save yourself the headache and... Just, just pull the cap off or just lay the distributor over on its side until you plug the new distributor in. You know, just bolt it in. 
All right, <clears throat> you line it line it up later. Do what you got to do. It's your call. You know, just my the way I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna mark my distributor, pull three bolts, disconnect this, and then line up the distributor. All right, folks. So I got my three bolts out. Obviously, one, two, three. They should be 12 millimeter bolts, but you know, since my car's been in so many hands. This one actually was a 13. As you can tell, these should all have washers on them that belong to the distributor. That one didn't. So another thing to just make sure you guys keep in mind, when you guys take out the distributor, try to pull it as best as you can straight out. Because you need to know the internal teeth. Well, the two, the two, uh... You'll see what I'm talking about, though. But there's two, there's two metal tabs. They should be point it a certain way when you put it obviously back in because it only apparently it only goes in one way so you gotta be very very sure on you know which way these line up and on forth because you see right here where that dention is with that line does that need to be you know top or does it need to be bottom and how should these line up so keep these in mind you need to line these up and you need to line this up to exactly how it was when you pulled your distributor out. Oh, and by the way, don't wiggle it out. Try to pull it straight out. Try to do it for a second. No, it's kind of hard doing it from a freaking phone. She's on there good too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Another trick, you know, I just had to pick up doing this on the way out. Old Faithful. Just tap one side, tap one side. Tap one side, tap one side. Don't do it hard. Do it very lightly. You know, at the same time, remember, you're trying, you're trying to get your, your markings down correctly, right? So just keep that very much in mind when you're trying to do all this stuff because, like I said, you don't want to damage your timing. You know, you worked way too hard to get this far and, no, not happening. So just take your time. You know, one, one small tap each, it'll come. It's just been on the, on the car for, in this case, a year or two. You know, by the time you probably take yours off, you know, hopefully your car's been on, it's been on your car for, you know, 10 years and 15, you know, who knows. So just very much keep in mind what's at stake. Alright. So she's in. You know. First try. I feel like it's on point. You know. All you gotta do is just really put the bolts in. But. So far so good. I would say. Alright guys, so, I think I have this harness figured out, to be completely honest with you guys, pretty sure I do, but, I'm a very paranoid person by nature, so, just make sure you guys have everything done right, remember guys, this is how your stuff is going to go, how it should be, four, two, three one all right four two three one all right one three four two you know just make sure you guys have this you know like i said man i i pulled the distributor straight out you know obviously with a little love taps from a hammer nothing too crazy just soft soft taps pulled it out and i just laid the distributor over man and don't forget to also plug in your coil i just remember that please don't forget to plug that in but just be careful, guys, when you pull this stuff out. Just make sure you have your fire in order right. You know, if you don't trust it, don't be afraid to Google everything. Or even ask, you know, me or... My Micah is actually the person that helped me out on this. You know, maybe I didn't follow his directions all the way through. But, like I said, we'll find out. Fire in the hole. My motor blows. I'm an idiot. But, you know, William Allen did this swap. Wrote in it. It's a raped ape. Love it. It was great. 
So, I'm next to do this, you know, I, have, I only have a P28 right now, it's not tuned correctly right now because it's only a base map, VTEC's not kicking in, and so, this is something I actually want to try with, with Will, you know, Will obviously had good experience with it, you know, so I'm pretty sure somebody else had good experience with it, so I want to be the next person to see what it feels like, you know, before I take this to Kenny to get it tuned. Um, just make sure all your wirings are, are correct, alright, let me go over this with you. Your 8 pin. 8 pin harness is going to plug into the briar wire. All right, this is distributor to briar wire. You know, and then the second off the off the distributor is a 2 pin. I believe I have this straight into the harness if I'm not mistaken. But I think I'm supposed to leave that hanging, so I'm going to leave that hanging. And here you are. <laughs> 